What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Pigs and welcome back to some Planet Nomads. Oh, now, today, task number one is we're going to actually get started on building my little buggy boo. Or the thing that's going to be doing, like, short distance transporting. Now, I don't exactly know why, but for some reason on the base here, I do have this thing where I seem to slowly drift in one direction or another. Sometimes it's backwards, sometimes it's forwards. Kind of, um, I'm not exactly sure what the hell is causing that, but screw it. It's not that bad. I can live with it. So, I'm gonna... Alright, I need, uh, frames for the time being. Um, yes, I think this is good enough. Now, the question is, what time of day is it and where the hell is the sun? Absolutely nowhere in sight. Okay, well, I guess... In that a case, hey, look, I actually managed to do that without taking any damage. That's a first. Right now, I see you over there. Um, that's the one I want. Aim at it. I don't actually know if this is even doing any damage to that thing. I kind of hope it is. Are you doing any damage to it? Or... It's not. Screw it. It'd actually be easier and probably a little bit more efficient for me to just do this. You've been poisoned. God damn it. You are becoming tired. You have been irradiated. Thank you. God damn it. Why does that thing take so goddamn long to kill? Oh, seriously. The only reason I wanted to get rid of that is because that's the thing that was probably gonna you are in a well -fed state. kill me considering that. Good hydration secured. That's where I want to build my bug. Now, if you don't quite mind, I need to go all the way up here, preferably without falling off my platform. That would be very handy. What the hell was that? Just a blue thing bouncing up and down in the distance. Right. In we get. We're gonna You've see if we can poisoned. outlast this poison and stuff. You are well rested. There we go. It's fine. Right. Now, something that I was told is apparently if I connect the electricity to the door here and here. I think... Aha! There we go! Now we have automatic doors. Alright. Much better. Makes life so much easier. Right, now, I need to actually get out the bits that I'm going to use to build my foundation. And by foundation, I mean that quite literally. Uh, where is it? I want the short inner wall because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go plonk myself generally down in this flatter area down here just because building here is going to be so much easier. Uh, this seems like a generally flat area so we'll plonk that down and then roughly in the middle we're going to plonk one of those down. And... 
Ki kimi... God damn it, that is not where I wanted that to go. You get... Actually... Now that I think about it... Freaking hell is the button. I don't remember. Is it B? No, it's not B. It's not B. I know it's one of these. Aha. That's X. There we go. And now I'll create the kind of uh, foundation part. I guess if you can call it that. Um. Is that going to be high enough off the ground? I'm not convinced that's going to be high enough off the ground, actually. So... I'm going to try and get up on this tiny little bit of frame. Aha! I did it. There we go. And then, I'm actually going to stick my frame kind of there, with maybe a bit of foundationing there. There we go. Right. So that'll create the base platform that I need. Oh. I look really itchy nose today. Again. So it's typical of me. Right. So, what's the first thing that I want? Um. Probably want a 3x3 three three cockpit. Because I believe the. Bio generator takes up three by three space. Is it three by three space or is it a four by four? Oh, I never remember. I'll, I'll soon find out. It will either be correct or it won't. One of the two. Uh, what else do we want? Suspension. Uh, buggy wheels, uh, the armor blocks, uh, some slope armor blocks, and I think that's pretty much all we want. self-propeller pad that allows vehicles to hover and move a few feet above the ground. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the reason I don't use these jacks, by the way, is because it's actually easier to build larger constructions using this. It's a little bit easier doing the construction on this method. Uh... Ah, you're not going to quite go on the side like I want you to, are you? Get up there. Right. Let me guess. You're... Can I... Can I... Can I get round to... Can I get that off? God damn it. Oh, I had it for a second there. Aha! Right, now if you can just go... Maybe a little further that way. Right there! That's perfect. That's exactly where I wanted you to go. Brilliant! We're actually doing things! 
No, that's not quite the way I wanted that to go. Um, nope. Uh, flip it around twice. Stick you there. Uh, yeah, that looks roughly correct. I say roughly correct. Um, I bet that's not connected to that, is that? I bet it's connected to this foundation, which means if I remove that foundation, that's going to fall off. Ah, nuts. Do you know what? It's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll make do. Right. I'm going to actually go and grab the bits necessary to at least get these fully formed. Oopsie daisy, back up here. There we go. Can I reach this from here? Thank you. Right. What do I need for you? I need uh, compute parts. Go away, fly. Composite parts, obviously, glass, I'm obviously going to need, and plates, of which I can just grab that for now. You pretty much need everything the same as what the cockpit needs, which is fantastic, because it means that I actually have to carry less. It means I don't have to have a... a metric ton of different things in my inventory. Dooby 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 boo Running over here again. Right. Let's get you built up. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Kind of. And then again, if I actually intended it to be truly beautiful, it would Probably wouldn't end out that way. Um, now, how exactly do I... I have a question. Visually, what does the side of that look like? Ah, uh, okay. So it's kind of got... Um, that curve bit going on. So, I guess I could probably. Yeah, it should be fine. I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll stick one kind of. You're not going to go where I want you to, are you? See, that's a problem, because that means the creating the front pod over there, which is going to be the bit for the wheels, or at least the front wheels, isn't going to quite go as I planned. Unless... Hmm, I wonder... Okay, so you are actually in contact with that top part. Now, my question is, that top part up there, if I get actually up on top of this, can I pop a block right here? No, not, not there. A little bit above, a little bit up, a little, 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 little bit... No, okay. 
answer that question is no, I can't. What I can, however, do is cheat the system slightly. And if I grab the small wall and then slap that on its side, like so. I know it's taking up unnecessary resources, but you know what? We're just gonna let that be, because preferably I need to be able to get rid of that. There we go. Now it's actually holding on to it. Right. Okie dokie. So, now I can actually build the bit this side as well. Which... We're gonna run armor blocks pretty much all the way back and same here are you gonna are you this singular piece of ground is lower than that isn't it Fine. I didn't want to have to add one of these because it's wasting valuable basic frames, but... Well, it's not wasting them because I'll be getting rid of it afterwards and I'll get them back, so... Not exactly wasting them, just it's taking them up. Unnecessarily. Alright, now hopefully I should be able to reach that. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Right. And then pretty much one. Aha! You think you can outsmart me, game? Not the case. Because I'll just break the system. Right, okay. What am I caught on? Oh, I'm caught with that little bit of foundation. Okay, that's... that's fine. Right, so that... Um... Hmm. Six. And then I want that there, kind of like that. Right, I don't suppose. Are we gonna have you going, no, we probably want you out there, don't we? And then rotate you around like so. Now, apparently, I can shove these wheels on the sides. Don't exactly know how that works. I wonder. Uh, oh, I need the mechanical parts. Ugh. Back up the hill we go! Uh, there we go. Yeah, thank you. Well, at least I have more, I want more than enough mechanical parts. I mean, in theory, I should have plenty of frames as well. Doobie 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 boo. I would like Alright, so you're built and you're built. Right. Now it could just be that these wheels don't particularly do they actually not want to go on no they do. They do go on that. 
They just don't seem to want to go like that. Because apparently you're supposed to be able to put these side on so you can create like double sections. I don't exactly know how that's meant to work, but... Uh, never mind. That's, that's not too much of a problem. Yeah, I know I said I was going to build one of these in creative mode. I never actually got around to doing that. I kind of just... Yeah. Decided that it would be better for me to just straight build one here. No, I want four. I mean, these are the buggy wheels. So, what do you need? I need the fabrics. Okay, so you take Mark 1 fabrics. That's kind of handy, actually, considering that the mobile base wheels require the Mark 2s. Or the level 2s, or however it is you want to pronounce it. Uh... Oh, I don't actually have a great deal of those. Drill, how you doing? Actually, the drill's not doing too badly. It's just kind of doing its thing. Which is exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to kind of just be left to its own devices. And eventually, I should have a crap ton of stuff. Uh, right. Fabrics, you need silicon, don't you? Yeah, silicon and biomass. We've got carbon in there, which is good. So let's grab a little bit of silicon, a little bit of biomass. Uh, let's grab that for biomass, and silicon will grab that one. I'm not actually going to print these, I'm only going to keep them in there just in case I do need to print them. But as it goes, I think I might have just enough of those fabrics. Doopy 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 Going down to my little buggy. the hell? It's producing a kind of glow. Hey look, I've got shiny wheels. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. I come and think I'm nearly as terribly as I'd expected it to, visually at least. As for the performance of it, that has yet to be deciphered. Uh, and then I kind of want. I need to do that. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of magic there. There we go. Um, now I have this horrible feeling that I'm not actually going to be able to build the wheel on this because that frame is going to be in the way. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Did I literally just discover what I think I discovered? Is, it, is this a thing that I've just done? Have I just discovered how stupid I was being? Um, I didn't actually mean to get rid of that. Let me up. Thank you. 
and on you get, and three. No, right there, and then my sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Your sensors show nothing but lies. You are in a well-fed state. Good hydration secured. Did I not tell you, computer? Sensors show nothing but lies. Right, so. Oh, okay, so that does move with that, which means... Wait. So I can literally just dump a wheel on that armor block and that's going to work. Albeit it looks very, very strange. But it does look very strange. But you know what? If it works, I'm not complaining. What I am complaining about, though, is that I do want to add a little bit of decorative to this. A little bit like that. Um, three. And then one there. The arm block there. The outside will. I swear I'm going to fucking kill that. <laughs> Fuck off, you little bastard! I'll catch that thing later and it'll be the end of its days. Right, now I know that's, that's kind of glitched out a little bit, but it's fine. It'll fix itself now. And then we just stick that on. Deal with that. Deal with that. Actually, the front of that thing is kind of monstrous looking. It's, um... Proving to be... Significantly scarier looking than I intended it to be. But you know what? Hey, it works. Um, now, question is, how much power do these wheels take up? They take up 35 apiece. And that produces 250. So, what? 35 twice, that's... 60, 70 per set. So that would be 140 for the front. Another 140 would make it 280. Which is actually more than one buyer generator generates. So I would actually have to have two bio generators. Or I could just go overkill and add the uranium generator onto this thing instead. I mean, it would be completely overkill, and actually fueling that would be kind of a nightmare, considering I already have a uranium generator in the base. Uh... Would it be worth it? I mean, it would generate far more power. And it would last longer. In fact, actually, if I go and take half of the uranium rods out of my current uranium generator... How much would that drop it by? That's my question. 
dropped, how much time would I drop off? Because I think I've got like 36 hours or something on it at the moment. No, 30 hours. Okay, so... Did I seriously just... You're not going to allow me to split that multiple times for some reason. You know what? Screw it. As long as I'm frugal with the car. 20 hours. 20 hours on 10, which means I'm probably going to get about 10 hours out of the 5 rods. And it does generate far, far greater power. So yeah, screw it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna none of this buy generated stuff. Let's um let's go for something a bit more substantial. So we're gonna need level two frames and computers. And um, was that reinforced? Is that also reinforced ones it takes, or is it normal? I think it might be normal. Right, so, level 2 computers and level 2 frames. Running along this way to go and take my current pansy little generator out. You. Get up. Crap, I actually forgot that those three blocks were connected to that. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, well. Right, you. Right, you actually take up the same amount of space as well, if I'm right. Uh, that's not quite how I intended that to go, but... There we go. Hey, look, it actually, it really does. It even takes up, like, almost identical amount of space. Not enough resources. Oh, that is Mark II plating. Yeah. Now I have to go all the way back up here. Just to go and grab the blinking Mark II plating. Good hydration secured. Uh... Mark two plating, there we go. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised that I'm able to build a buggy this overpowered. I mean, most of that stuff came off of what was basically the beginnings of a mobile base. Or, in my terms, a moving truck, because that's all that thing was to me, it was just a moving truck. I fully intended to dismantle it when I got here. Much better. Now we've got plenty more power to actually do stuff with. Now I just need to figure out the rest of the design for this. Um, so well, let's start by actually getting all of this built in, shall we? Easy. No. Get up there. Right, that that's much better. Right, so I'm probably gonna have to fill that one in last. 
because of its position relative. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, what I was going to say is the because of its position relative to the thing that's actually currently holding the rest of this hunk of junk up. Actually, can I get to that from the front here? Oh, I can. If I aim this just right, just, just, aha! I gotcha. I did gotcha. Right, perfect. Like that literally is perfect. I need what? One more. One more off the back here. Get up on the bloody foundation. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The foundation doesn't come out quite far enough. Ah, balls. Ah, got you that time. Thick. Well, see, this is why I did it that way, because when you fail that many times, it always opens up another opportunity for you to not fail so hard. Right. Let's get rid of those. They're unnecessary. And then decide how I'm going to have the back. Uh... What do you think? A little bit of this? God damn it. Do you know what? It'd be far simpler for me to just add a bloody foundation base right there there we go that'll make life so much bloody easier why don't I just do that in the first place because I don't think of these things because brain doesn't do smarts all the time there we go and then just Build along the back here, like so. Just get those filled in. Like that. Perfect. Because I wanted to do something similar up here. I'm probably going to maybe add a little bit in there. Yeah, because of the weight of that, I'm going to set it to high pressure, just because. Uh, I want to set you to talk. Um, no, that's not the direction that I wait. No, I do want you to go that direction. No. No, yeah, that was the right direction. I'm confusing myself here. Right. So. Stop. Thank you. I think these outer walls need to be. Set to steering while well, these ones are opposite steering because they're actually technically the wrong way around. Or am I just overthinking? I'm probably just overthinking this. 
set to steering. I like how it's raining out there, but if I stand at just the right point under here and look at just the right angle, it's no longer raining. Which is kind of handy actually, because I'm going to call this here and I'm going to finish the rest of this off cam and it will be ready the next time I'm recording one, basically. So you'll get to actually see this in full swing next time. But until then, that does it for this video, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, stay awesome, as always. And I will see you lot in the next video.